Prime Minister Narendra Modi, in his reply to President Draupadi Murmu's letter to him, has shared moments of him presiding over the Pran Pratishta of the Ram Temple in Ayodhya. President Draupadi Murmu, in her letter to PM Modi on the eve of the Ram Temple consecration ceremony, had said she could only contemplate the unique civilizational journey that will be accomplished with each step taken by the Prime Minister in the temple. Replying to a letter, the PM said that he has returned with Ayodh uh, from Ayodhya, ingrained in his heart. He further stated that Lord Ram inspired him to adopt Sapka Saat, Sapka Vikas Mantra and the country is witnessing results of this mantra. Arzu Seta joins us for more on this story. Arzu, Prime Minister Narendra Modi uh, writing a letter to President Murmu in reply to hers. Uh, what has he said? Uh, well, a day after Lord Ram's consecration ceremony in Ayodhya, Prime Minister Narendra Modi wrote a letter to President Dr. Murmu expressing gratitude for the letter he received from her before leaving uh, for the temple town. And in his letter to the President PM Modi, said after returning from Ayodhya Dam, after witnessing the most uncomfortable moment of my life, I am writing this letter to you and I have returned with an uh, Ayodhya in my mind, also an Ayodhya which can never go away from me. He said that, that he received her letter a day before leaving for Ayodhya and it gave her immense support and strength. He revealed uh, that he was in different state of mind when he received her letter and it helped him ha handling the feeling of his mind. In fact, everyone, the entire nation was somewhere emotional to see Ram Lala in the temple and the same was going through the Prime Minister's mind also. You know, he was very emotional at that moment and that letter from the President that he received has provided him the strength and that is what he wrote in the letter. Also, he, he has written that to witness such a historic occasion in both a, is both a privilege and a responsibility. Uh, he also discussed my 11-day fasting ritual and the Yama Niyamas related to it. Our country has witnessed countless people who kept many goals for centuries so that Ram Lala could once again reside at his birthplace. Being the conductor for the completion of these century long goals was a very emotional moment and for me, I would consider it my good fortune. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.